Hey guys, welcome back to NFT Inspo. For today's video, we are going to show you how to fix Shopify no products found, use fewer filters, or remove all. So if you're interested, let's start our tutorial. In this case, if you're having this issue here in Shopify, there are a few things I need to check here to probably solve this issue. So in this case, uh, the first thing you want to do here is if you're using, like for example, a um, menu for your... Um, products well in this case you need to first fix that let's go to online store here you want to go to navigation and from here you want to click on the menu that you're using a specific filter on in this case for example you want to select this one let's go and click on edit and from here make sure that you've selected the correct or you've indicated the correct um in this case collection for your menu here which in this case once you verify that then means that the product itself is on the collection itself or the product itself so first, let's go to our products. So go ahead and go and click on the products at the left side here. Go ahead and open up the product that you want to actually show on your actual um, page, which in this case, it is, is what's going to look like in the product page. Now, in this case, make sure that the actual status is active. So if the status is not active, it will not be visible to other users. And in this case, it will not be visible whenever you start searching it or start using filters. Now. In this case, another thing that you could check here is your collection. So especially if you have like collections that you want to sh uh, basically show. So in this case, like for example, if you're using like an automated way of uh, basically uh, collecting collections or adding items to your collection, make sure that you've indicated the conditions here correctly. Like for example, if the product, tab, uh, product tag is actually equal to the following, make sure it's actually indicated or exactly indicated in here. So remove any spaces or any unnecessary text that you see here. So make sure it's exactly, it's actually exactly what you see on the product tags. Now going back to products here, so go back to your products and again, make sure to go to the product tags here that you have and make sure that they are actually uh, set to the correct one. So if you don't see or if it's not, it's actually incorrect, click on the X button next to it and from then on, just add your own tag itself or the correct tag itself. And in this case, if none of those work, well, in this case, the problem itself might be your browser. So I recommend you to clear your browser cache. Now to do that, you need to click on the top right of your screen or in your browser and you want to click on settings, click on the option for privacy and security, click on delete browsing history data. And from here, make sure that cookies and other side data, cache images and files and site settings are actually set up. Now from here, you could select the time that when you're actually your site or your uh, Shopify website that actually still works. So you could choose last four weeks, last seven days, or even all time, which is pretty good. Go ahead and click on clear, uh, delete data, and from then on, close your browser and restart it again. Now, once you've done that, see if that solves your issue. And finally, if you're still having issues, well, in this case, the problem itself might be the team that you've used, especially if you change or switch to a different team for your website, it might be the cause for that. So try reverting back to the previous team that you have and see if that solves the issue. And also if you installed new plugins into your browser, make sure to turn that off or uninstall it temporarily and see if that actually solves your problem. But in this case, that's about it. So hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to NFT Inspo. Thank you for watching.